Hi, I'm Sam with SPS. Welcome to the Clinical Minute. In today's segment, I'm joined by Jody. We're gonna talk about foot drop electrode placement with the Pace XL and the Walk Aid. So we're gonna start with a short anatomy review just so you know exactly where you're looking to position your electrode. The first thing you wanna do is find that bony prominence of the fibular head. This is the most important anatomical landmark when we're talking about the common perineal nerve. That nerve is going to bifurcate into the two branches. So you've got the superficial branch going down the lateral aspect of the leg, and you've got the deep branch going down the anterior aspect through that anterior tibialis muscle belly. We wanna capture the bifurcation of that nerve right in here. We're always gonna use a little bit of water on our electrodes and capture that bone with the upper front quadrant of the electrode. That way, every place that I'm covering with that electrode is gonna be over that deep branch of the nerve as it courses anteriorly and over the bifurcation. The inactive electrode is gonna be positioned over the deep branch of the nerve. So we're getting the bifurcation of the nerve behind the fibular head and then the deep branch as it goes into the muscle belly. That stimulation should produce some dorsiflexion with a little bit of eversion for a natural foot lift. If you can't, get rid of all of the eversion that you're trying to weed out so that you have a better foot lift, more dorsiflexion you can reverse the polarity of those electrodes. Our second electrode option is going to be anterior tibialis electrode placement. You're just gonna stack the two electrodes so that the black electrode is superior to the red electrode. This is gonna give you stimulation through that muscle going directly to the deep nerve for more dorsiflexion. And I'm gonna try to avoid that superficial nerve over here. The third electrode placement option I'm gonna show you is going to give you some flexor withdrawal reflex. This can help to elevate that limb while the patient's walking so that they're not only getting the dorsiflexion, but they're also getting some limb advancement and some lift to their entire lower extremity. So I'm gonna go back to my initial positioning with my black active electrode right over the fibular head here. My second electrode placement actually needs to go a little bit higher at the lateral popliteal fossa or the lateral hamstring. You can also try moving your electrodes so that you switch where you have your active and inactive electrodes. This will encourage the same type of flexor withdrawal reflex. The last positioning for this flexor withdrawal is gonna be just moving this inactive electrode back down over the anterior tip muscle belly, similar to where we put it in the initial standard drop foot electrode position. This has been the Clinical Minute. For additional videos, visit spsco.com slash clinical minute.